Hello, I'm Scott Brown. Welcome to Green Wind and other home energies. This is ceiling fan motor. You notice it's got a little gap in here. You can see the stator moving inside. This is not what turns. This is fastened to the pole. This turns. I'll put a piece of steel banding on the inside of this and then all my magnets will go inside here till it takes up that gap between the metal and the stator. Neodymium iron boron magnets. I took my ohm meter and I crossed all the combinations of these wires. This red and this gray one here are the highest ohms. This is the outside coil. The second highest ohm was this pink and yellow combination. And these ones here are the center taps that go along inside those coils for different speeds. So these four wires are what we're concerned with. These ones are not. You take your ohm meter, check for your two highest ohms of all the combinations, and pair those two wires off and those two wires off. These wires and these wires do not connect. They are separate coils. Now on the outputs of these two wires, you're going to put a diode bridge rectifier. And on these two wires, you're going to put another diode bridge rectifier. Hook these up to the AC terminals. The DC output, how you uh, hook that up, if you, depends on the voltage out that you get at around 120 RPM. 120 RPM, if you wind up with about 50 volts on each of them, you probably want to hook those outputs in parallel to keep the voltage down because you don't want 100 volts. <laughs> um, Higher, uh, when you hook them in uh, parallel, your voltage is down and your amps are up. If you hook them in series, your voltage is up and your amps are down. Okay, now this, all these wires right here are going to go inside this connector, or this fitting, and come out a hole drilled down here with a piece of pipe uh, or pen epoxied at the bottom. And from there on, I'll do my rectification and tie it off back here in between these two, and then it'll come down the pole. So this will be on here like this, and then my blades will be on the front. This is the yaw and furling mechanism. It's all made out of pipe. Less than 15 bucks for all these parts. Straight pipe, uh, for, uh, 90 degree angle, nipple, 90 degree angle, long nipple, T, long nipple, barrel, and adapter. Another long nipple on a 45 degree, and then a long pipe down here. This goes inside the pipe that you mount it, uh, mount it on, and it will turn like this. This is what is called the yaw bearing. Put a large washer up here at the top. Now, run through this kind of quick. This is the tail. This tail slides on here like this. The reason why all this is to the side here, notice this is where the blades are. Why is it to the side? Because I want the wind to push on it. When the wind pushes on it and the wind starts getting too strong, notice how that tail goes up in the air. The length and the weight of the tail govern the speed that this is going to furl out of the wind. This is automatic speed uh, over speed protection. There we go. Notice how shoo, takes it right back in. All of these connections, when you get done adjusting them, you want, to, you want to tack weld each and every joint. And then you want to paint it heavily to keep the rust out. And another thing, another note, this is tilted back. Because the wind generally comes down at an angle, slightly down. It never goes straight across the land. It comes down slightly. The air is rushing. It's usually the colder air blowing to rush and to fill in a pocket. Okay, another deal is when you tighten these up, you want to get these real tight. But if you over tighten and you have to, uh, if you go past your adjustment and go back, the surface area of all these threads, the metal has already moved and it's not tight anymore and it'll just act like a bearing. So if you go past where you need to go, crank it hard and get it all the way back around to where you want it. And don't pass your adjustment. The other thing that you got to know is if this tail comes all the way around, you do not want it in path of your blades. Good idea, huh? Very good. Okay, well, 
that's how that part works and uh, we'll show you the insides of that and how to set that up later. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. Much obliged. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and please uh, rate this video. Leave a comment. I love them too.